Hi, this is Kanan Irons, 3D Printing Application Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, we're going to show you how Mark Ford Simulation can be used to predict the strength of your printed parts so that you can be confident that your parts will perform as you expect them to. And to accomplish this, we've designed a 3D printed lightning hook. These hooks are commonly used for safety and rescue scenarios, and at the end of this video, we're going to validate our simulation and test this lightning hook right here at a local fire training facility. A professional safety and rescue crew put this hook through training exercises and even simulated a three foot drop with the full weight of a person from the second floor. We can't wait to show you the results, so let's get started. We designed the lightning hook in SolidWorks and then uploaded the part into the Iger slicing software as an STL and then selected our print orientation before selecting our print material. In this case, we started out with onyx material to understand how strong the hook would be with just the plastic by itself. We then opened up Mark Ford Simulation and applied our loading conditions. Our goal with this hook initially was to lift a 200 pound or 890 newton person and to do that with a factor of safety of 2 to 4x. This condition can be applied as a load in the hook area and that can be aligned in the direction of our intended use case. We can also set the upper limit for the factor of safety in the box on the right hand side. And at this stage, we're not quite as concerned about max deflection, so we will stick with the default setting for now. And then after applying the load, we then need to, to anchor the part by constraining the 10 millimeter hole. Now that we have that done, we can save the load case and validate the design. Our validated design shows that we have a 0.5 factor of safety with a 200 pound load. So we know that we will need to optimize and strengthen this design. The tool also gives us an indication of how the model will deflect and how much maximum deflection would be expected. Now we can start the optimization, which will automatically generate options for us to strengthen the design. Now that the optimization is complete, we can look at our options for strengthening the design to meet our target factor of safety and deflections. The first option shows how strong we can be by sticking with just the onyx material by itself and then changing the infill parameters. We can see that the part is stronger but still not quite strong enough for what we want to do. Next we can take a look at how a reinforced option will perform. A reinforced option proves to be much stronger, coming in at a 3.22 factor of safety. This strength will allow us to lift a person and even absorb a fair amount of shock load on top of the 200 pound initial load. One last check that we can do is to look at the more options tab just to see if there's any more efficient options available for us. It turns out that isotropic fiber under the reinforced version is by far the strongest. Although it is worthy of note that a concentric fiber version does reach a higher factor safety over one, and it does that at a much lower cost. This option would be nice for applications where you don't need as much additional margin of factor of safety. And so now that we've seen this, we can apply the reinforcement optimization and save the part file. After perfecting the design, we sent the hook to print on our X7 machine and then took the finished part out to a local fire and rescue training facility where a professional rescue crew put the hook through various training exercises. These exercises focused on methods for escaping a building during an emergency. And please keep in mind that these are trained professionals and do not attempt any of these exercises at home. The team did have a secondary safety rope for the duration of the training exercises as an extra precaution. The first exercise involved fixing the hook to an interior stair railing and then running an 8mm rope into the next room for rappelling down from a third floor. The loading case was very gradual in this instance and the rope did a good job of absorbing some of the shock loads that would have been seen. And the hook performed like a champ. It held up rock solid through several separate rappelling exercises from the third floor. And this loading case was very close to our simulation that we had set up before. And so it was a perfect scenario for us to run tests on. And it's pretty incredible that a 3D printed composite part is capable of withstanding these types of loads. 
And with this success, the team gained confidence in the Mark Forge Lightning Hook and decided to really put the design to the test. On the second floor, there was a steel door anchored to the concrete frame structure, and they decided to place the hook on the back side of the door for the next test. This next example is a scenario you can imagine happening in an emergency when there is little to no time and you gotta act fast to escape the building. With the hook fastened to the back side of the door, the crew decided to simulate a shock load that can be incurred during a fast-paced emergency situation. And they did this by letting out an extra two to three feet of extra rope before it would catch the person on the line. The safety professional on the line here weighs about 200 pounds, and with a two to three foot drop, our shock load would be reaching very close to our intended factor of safety of 3.22. The orange line that you see is the safety line, while the green line is connected directly to the hook that's attached to the door inside the room. And now that everything was in position, we gave the thumbs up to run the shock test in a simulated bailout situation. And there he goes. And that was a pretty good hit on the rope and the hook held up. He then was able to let out the remainder of the line so that he can land safely on the ground. Well, the 3D printed lightning hook worked like a charm. And using Mark Ford simulation, we were able to go into a real world environment with a high degree of confidence. And our simulation results proved to be accurate. It's so nice to be able to nail the design correctly the first time, as that significantly speeds up the overall design process. I'd like to give a special thank you to the safety and rescue crew who trained using the 3D printed lightning hook. These guys are true professionals and they do a great job of serving our local community. If you'd like to see more content related to the 3D printed lightning hook, keep an eye out for future posts where we dive into the backstory of this project, looking more in depth at the design simulation and also we relay feedback that we receive from the safety and rescue crew. Well, that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.